morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, this is Pastor Vern Bryant, Pastor of Hillcastle United Methodist Church, welcoming you to another episode of This Is The Day. And I hope that you're having a wonderful day today. It's great to be able to come to you on this lovely day. Um, our scripture lesson this morning comes from Philippians 4, 6. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation because I like what it says. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. I want to talk for a few minutes about worry and being it. Worry is a waste of time. Let's pray. <clears throat> Gracious Lord, as we come now to this time, I ask that you be with us in our time together. Bless those who are watching on today. Ask gracious God that you just help your word to settle on our, the tables of our hearts. Open our hearts and minds to hear what your word speaks to us. Through Christ the Lord, we ask and pray. Amen. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. You know, worry is one of the most ineffective pastimes we can indulge in. Just think about that. We worry about everything, don't we? We worry when we go to bed at night. We worry when we get up in the morning. Jesus himself asked, can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Just think about that. Can the worrying that we do, can it add a single moment to our lives? I don't think so. Worry is the ass assassin of the rest of relationships. Worry will kill relationships. Um, it stalks us and it hijacks our minds. It, 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 it causes us to lose focus and to lose sight. Worry is one of those things that, yes, it hijacks relationship. It causes us to worry and to lose sight. It takes our minds off the main thing when we worry. Just think about that. And we can't do anything about it. I remember many years ago, I, I, I had a situation that I was worrying about. And, and, and I just worried myself sick about that situation. And it finally dawned on me. I know it was the Spirit of the Lord. Spoke to my heart and said, hey, buddy, God's got it. Why are you wasting so much time worrying? We worry, though. We worry about everything. And, and the enemy distorts our thought process and our minds when we worry. You know, uh, we need to learn how to leave the worrying alone and stop the worrying. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and then ask God to help you and thank him as if, as if it is already done. Our faith needs to kick in over this problem of worrying. Our, our faith. We do have faith. And it needs to kick in and it needs to help us in those times when we would give in to worry. God's peace will guard our hearts and our minds as we live for Christ. So we turn the worry over to God because we know that God can take care of any situation. It may be too big for us, but it's just right for God. You know, like I said, worry is the assassin of rest and relationships. When you worry, you can't really rest. Just think about people in your life or, or perhaps yourself. You worry about something. You don't rest. You know, a lot of times when we worry, we just want to be in isolation and our thoughts and, 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 our thoughts start to work on us and tell us, oh, you can never make it out of that. You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Stop worrying. God is bigger than the problems that we face in life. Fix your thoughts 
on what is true, what is honorable, what is right, what is pure, what is lovely and admirable, things that are excellent and worthy of praise. And then the God of peace will be with you. Today, let God set you free from worry. And we all do it. We all worry. I mean, we worry about the slightest things. I mean, we're, we, we worry about this. We worry about that. We worry about the other. We all face it. We all worry. I know we do. Because sometimes, if I'm not careful, worry will try to creep in. But we must learn how to let the worry go and turn it over to the Lord. Jesus said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. He tells us in this word that we can cast all of our cares onto him. So if we can cast all of our cares onto him, it means he got it. The worry, the things that keep us up at night, God's got it. But we need to cast our cares onto him. And worry, for the most part, means that our faith is diminished if we're worrying, if we're troubled. You know, it means that our faith is diminished. But the scripture says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything, even the worry. When you feel yourself starting to worry, stop, pause, and say, Lord, help me not to worry. My mind is trying to creep and worry. So, Lord, help me this day. And God will help help you not to worry. He'll help us on this journey. So, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. And let me add this too. What's in your power to do, you do. You know, and leave the rest up to God. Amen. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you, Lord, because we know, Father, that you can help us in our times of worry. We can't help it, Lord. Sometimes we just start to worry. But Lord, we ask that you just calm our hearts and our minds and our spirits and help us, Lord, instead of worrying about everything or anything, instead help us to pray about everything and turn our cares over to you. We pray for those, Lord, who are continuing to trust you and those who feel as if, Lord, there's no way out of their situation. Help them to realize, Lord, there is a way out, and that way is Jesus. So be with us this day. Guide us, strengthen us, bless us, make us a blessing. To Christ our Lord, we ask and pray. Amen. Hey, friends, it's been so nice being with you on today. I pray that you have a wonderful rest of the week and that you know that I love you, but God loves you most of all and continue to stand strong and continue to hold on to the promises of God. Until next time, this is Pastor Vern Bryant saying you be safe and be strong. God bless. Bye-bye.